Hi, I'm Russell Warren, Chief Scientist at Riot IQ. In this video, I'm going to lay out the structure of our Reasoning and Intelligence Online Test, aka the Riot, and hopefully answer any questions you may have about the test. The Riot is made up of 15 subtests, which are divided into five indexes. The first index is the Verbal Reasoning Index, which consists of the Vocabulary, Information, and Analogies subtests. Each of these subtests asks a different type of multiple choice question. For vocabulary, we measure the examinee's breadth and depth of knowledge about the English language. In the information subtest, the RIA asks examinees to demonstrate their general knowledge in broad topics such as geography, science, and the arts. Finally, the analogy subtest asks examinees to identify the relationship between a pair of words and apply it to a new pair of words. The second index is the Visual Spatial Ability Index, which consists of six subtests. The first three are Matrix Reasoning, Visual Puzzles, and Figure Weight subtest. All of these subtests consist of multiple choice questions where the examinee has to solve problems that refer to pictures. In the matrix reasoning subtest, examinees must identify which option would complete a 3x3 three three grid of squares. Each question in the visual puzzles subtest has a simple image and eight options. Test takers are then asked which options can be combined to form the image. In the figure weight subtest, examinees are shown shapes on one side of a scale and must figure out which shapes would balance out the other side. The last three subtests in the Visual Spatial Ability Index are the Object Rotation Subtest, the Spatial Test of Verbal Stimuli, and the Spatial Orientation Subtest. All of these subtests measure the ability to think about two or three dimensional space. In the Object Rotation Subtest, examinees must identify which of five options is a rotated version of a target shape. In the spatial test of verbal stimuli, the test takers must answer questions about their understanding of the cardinal directions. Finally, in the spatial orientation subtest, examinees are tested on how well they can understand how maps represent two and three dimensional space. The next index is the working memory index, which consists of the computation span, exposure memory, and visual reversal subtests. These subtests all measure short-term memory. In the computation span subtest, examinees must complete a series of simple arithmetic problems and then immediately recall afterwards the answers. In the exposure memory subtest, a series of images are shown, each for one second. Afterward, eight images are shown. The examinee must identify which of those eight images also appeared in the first sequence. And for the visual reversal subtest, test takers are shown a three by three grid of white squares. Squares in the grid turn blue one at a time. Afterwards, the examinee indicates the reverse order in which the squares turn blue. The fourth index is called the processing speed index. Its subtests are the symbol search and abstract matching subtests. Each of these subtests present a very simple task to be accomplished as quickly as possible. Examinees get points for answering accurately as many questions as possible before time is up. In symbol search, examinees are shown two sets of simple symbols. The first set has two symbols in it, and the second set has five symbols in it. The examinee is asked to identify, as quickly as possible, whether either of the first two symbols appears in the second set. In the abstract matching subtest, examinees are shown a target image and two option images. The examinee must identify which option more closely resembles the target. The last index is called the reaction time index. This index consists of one reaction time subtest that consists of two parts, choice reaction time and simple reaction time. In the simple reaction time portion, examinees are instructed to react as soon as they see a blue square, while in the choice reaction time portion, examinees are told to select a certain answer depending on the stimuli they see. 
The riot produces 21 scores in total. 16 scores from all 15 subtests, because the reaction time subtest produces two possible scores. One score for each of the five cognitive ability indexes, and finally, a global IQ. Each score is calculated by comparing the examinee's test performance to a representative sample of English-speaking American adults. These scores are standardized so that the scores are comparable to one another. The index scores and the overall IQ are calculated by a standardized weighted average that prevents any subtest from having too much influence over the final score. This scoring procedure has been standard for intelligence tests for decades. Subtests and index scores are T-scores with an average of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. Global IQ is on a scale that has an average of 100 and a standard deviation of 15, which is the typical scale for intelligence tests. The Riot team consciously chose to put the global IQ score on a different scale so that no one would mistake the index or subscale scores for IQs or think that they were interchangeable. Well, that's all for the Riot test structure. I hope I answered any questions you had. If you have any further questions, please join our Discord community and ask one of our team members directly. Also, feel free to email us or contact us through any of our social media accounts. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.